Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. A lot of sites online, a lot of rumors anyways, showing up about a new Canon G7X Mark III. Now, the Venerable Mark II was a very popular camera, especially for vloggers and bloggers and people that were doing handheld video. It was very portable, very small, very reminiscent of the LX10, which I'm such a huge fan of. Um, the RX100 is the other major competitor. But the one thing that Canon didn't give us in the Mark II, which would have been timely at the time, was 4K video. So it was priced a little lower than the RX100, but you got 4K and a few other things in the RX100. Now the rumors are saying that we're going to get 4K in the G7X Mark III, which will be wonderful. I'm really excited to get that. Uh, it has a very nice lens, the G7X Mark III, and, or the Mark II anyways. I'm assuming they'll carry it over to the three. So if we pair that with a 4K and just the already great attributes of that camera, I'm wondering how popular it will be. Will it be able to uh, capitalize on the G7X Mark II's already strong position? Will the RX100 still win people over? A couple of things that I think might make a big difference is, first of all, how they implement 4K. If we don't get heavy crops, um, if we get like a no binning, essentially, you know, like a pure readout of the whole sensor. So we get a very, very good 4K. And, and let me say, for those of you that are about to say, oh, Canon won't do that because you only get that in the top end cameras. I think they might see it as okay to do it in a G7X because it is a small pocket camera and they're going to see it as a differentiated lineup. That's my hope anyways. So I hope we could get a really, really good 4K um, video out of there. Good codec, good image um no crop, no heavy crop. And the other thing is if they can give us full-on dual pixel AF in the G7X Mark II, or Mark III, I should say, the uh, the update to the Mark II, that would be the, the two things that would really kill it for me. If we got dual pixel AF, when I say kill it, I mean make it awesome. <laughs> um, not kill it in the sense that I wouldn't buy it. So if we got the good 4K uh, without a heavy crop, good codec, and we got dual pixel AF. That would basically, if you took that 7X Mark II, the G7X Mark II, made a G7X Mark III with those two things, I'd be very happy with that camera. Uh, make the price point competitive. I'd say price it closer to the LX10. Say 700 US would be good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that camera and I would consider buying it. So I want to throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think? Are you interested in, are you waiting for an update to the G7X Mark II? Would these points be of interest to you? A good 4K, uh, the dual pixel AF? Is there something else I'm missing that you want thrown in there? Let me know in the comments below. What's your thoughts on a G7X Mark III? What does it need to be successful? What's important to you? Uh, let's discuss it. Always interested to hear what you guys have to say. Looking forward to seeing your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.